Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I am Elder Cosman E. Sim. And we're of Jesus Reigns Restoration Ministry. Amen. And this is part two of our lesson. Attitude with, without gratitude. Attitude without gratitude. I'm encouraging God's people. God wants me to encourage his people. Through this lesson. To remind his people. To have attitude. With gratitude. To give thanks in all things. That was the opening scripture. To, in all things, give thanks for it's the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And Amen. Amen. Having attitude with gratitude. Having an attitude towards God to thank him, to bless him, to give him glory. Amen. For the 34th Psalm says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear. Therefore, and be glad. Now, what I'm going, I'm going to bless the Lord all the time, 24/7. Amen. Continually out of my mouth. I walk around and I say, Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you, Lord, I bless you, Lord, I give you glory. Hallelujah. Every day. Why? Because that's something that I want to do. Hallelujah. And that's something that I can do is to bless God with the fruit of my lips. It's things that go through our minds from day to day. And a lot of things aren't good. And something may even come up to your mind or to your remembrance of a, a period that where, hallelujah, that you were in pain, that you were in torment, or you were incarcerated, you went through some type of trial or trouble. But you're saying, thank you, Lord. I love you, Lord. You're a good God. You're a merciful God. Hallelujah. You made a way for me. I bless you, Lord. I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. Continually out of my mouth, I'm going to bless the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hallelujah, the, 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 uh, 34, uh, Psalm 34 and 2, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear and be glad in it. Oh, the Lord is good. God is great. God is mighty. I'm going to make my boast in him. God has done great things for me. He pulled me out of the mark and mari clay. Hallelujah. And placed me on a rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was in the water, but he didn't let me drown. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to make my boast. We should make our boast as children of God in the Lord. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. To God be the glory for the great things that he's done. I'm going to make my boast in the Lord. Psalm 34 and 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Embu to msifu wote kwa pamoja. Magnify. We're going we serve a great, big, wonderful God. Tunamtumikia Mungu aliyemkuu. Always victorious. 
Wakati wote ni mshindi. Always watching over us. Wakati wote anatuangalia. A great big wonderful God. Hallelujah. Oh magnify. Hallelujah. The Lord will, and let us exalt his name together. The Lord say if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, hallelujah. They lift him up on Calvary. Um, the shedding of his precious blood for the remission of sins. And we're going to lift him up in praise. Hallelujah for making a way for us. For giving us an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. And the fourth verse. Hallelujah. I sought the Lord. And he heard me. And delivered me from all my fears. The Lord is my light and my salvation. In whom shall I fear? In whom shall I be afraid? That's an example of having an attitude with gratitude. My my attitude, my devotion, hallelujah, to, uh, uh, towards God and his mercies and what he's done for me. My praise towards God and giving of thanks and being grateful unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's God's will that you give thanks. God don't ask for a whole lot from us. He know that we're but flesh. When we error and do things out of his will. But God is great. God is merciful. Slow the anger of great compassion towards his people. Amen. And faith moves God. That's this is examples of having an attitude with gratitude. But the lesson's title, but God is giving us a warning too with this word. Not to have an attitude having an attitude without gratitude. Having an attitude to exist and to do without giving thanks. Amen, because it's not of your own power that you got up this morning. Amen, it's the Lord that woke you up this morning. Because wherever we live, we live unto the Lord. If we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live or die, we, we it's unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, help me to number my days. But here's some examples of how we can get caught up in attitude without gratitude. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Read. These are the last days. These are perilous times. These are days when men's hearts are waxing worse and worse. And the love of many of wax cold. Amen. Amen. Verse 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Read that please. Maana watu watakuwa wenye kujipenda wenyewe, wenye kupenda fedha, wenye kujisifu, wenye kiburi, wenye kutukana, wasio ti wazazi wao. Wasio na shukurani, wasio safi. Hallelujah. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say unto the churches. Yule mwenye masikio, na asikie 
Roa Mungu anachosema na kanisa. These are examples of men hallelujah of things that are going on around you right now. Hallelujah even in some of our own homes. People being love of men being lovers of their own selves. Hii ni mifano hata katika nyumba zetu unaona baadhi ya watu wetu wanakuwa wanajipenda wao wenyewe zaidi. Wanting to cover uh, the word of God said not to cover your neighbor's wife, not to cover your neighbor's home or his property, but people uh, want to do that anyway and anyhow they can do it. Watu tunaambiwa usitamani mke wa mwenzio, mali ya mwenzio, nyumba ya mwenzio, lakini watu wanafanya hivyo na zaidi. I shouldn't have to have want my what my neighbor's wife or my neighbor's car or anything that my neighbor has when God he said I'll provide your every need according to his riches in glory. Sipasi kutamani chochote cha jirani yangu wakati Bwana amesema atatupa ma kila kitu sawa sana mapenzi yake. Amen. Amen. Boasters, hallelujah, people are boasting in what they can do and who they are. Watu wanajisifu kwa nini wanachoweza kufanya na wao ni nani? Not giving any glory to God. Me myself and I. Ni wao na na kiburi chao. I did this with my hands. Nimefanya hivi kwa mikono yangu mwenyewe. That person is foolish. Huyo mtu ni mpuuzi. Amen. Amen. Proud. When we are, we describe that. Kiburi. Boasters. I mean, uh, blasphemers. You got a lot of blasphemers today. Unakuta wengi ni wenye kukufuru. People that mock God. Watu wanao scoffers in that day. When is he coming? Lini anakuja? Oh, that's a bunch of foolishness. That don't make no sense. That you don't need that. Au hitaji hiyo ni upuuzi. I don't believe in God. Siamini Mungu. A fool says in his heart there is no God. Upuuzi anasema God call you a fool. Hakuna Mungu. Mungu amesema wewe ni uliyekosa hekima. You created yourself. You yes. a fool. Yaani umejiumba mwenyewe, ni mpuuzi. Amen. Amen. You woke yourself up this morning. You a fool. Yetu ulijiamsha mwenyewe. To believe that. Ni mpuuzi kama unaamini. That's an attitude without without gratitude. Ni kiburi kisichokuwa na shukurani. Amen. Amen. And people are blaspheme. He that blaspheme the speak against the son of man, it be some forgiveness. If you say, well, I don't know about that. I don't uh, as far as Jesus or believing in Jesus. I don't know. I hear all these other religions and and all these other speakers and all. God, he there's some forgiveness in that because there's some confusion. Hakuna mtu anaweza kusema mimi hayo siamini. Kuna dini nyingi siku hizi. Hapo mtu huyo hayo anaweza kusamehewa kwa sababu amechanganyikiwa katika maandiko. Ana nafasi ya kusamehewa. Even Apostle Paul said, I did it. These things that I did against the church, these things that I did under the law. Mtumishi Paulo anasema hata yeye aliyafanya hayo kwa kutokuelewa kwa kupungukia ufahamu chini akiwa chini ya sheria. I did in ignorance because of unbelief. Aliyafanya kwa kuto kwa kupungukiwa hekima kwa sababu ya kuto kuamini. A lot of us even before we came into the faith and we were blood washed being saved filled with the Holy Ghost, a lot of things we did, we leaned to our own understanding and we did in unbelief. Wengi wetu kabla ya kuja kwa Yesu Kristo kuokolewa Tulifanya mambo mengi sana kwa kutokuamini. But in God's mercy and in due time he saved us. Kwa kwa rehema zake Bwana Yesu alituponya. Through washing and regeneration kwa kutuosha na kutuhuisha. Of the Holy Ghost. Katika Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Amen. God is merciful. Bwana Yesu ni mwenye rehema. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. But there's men the lovers of their own self, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. We got grown folk that are putting their parents in nursing homes. They have the ability to take care of their, their parents, to give them a safe place to be, to use their income, to even bring a nurse in, but they won't do it. Kuna watu wazima kabisa nyakili zao timamu, wanaweza kutunza wazee wao, wazazi wao, lakini wanaweka kwenye nyumba za wazee. Badata, wanaweza kuleta nesi ya katunza uh, and it's to their shame that they have parents that birthed them into this world, nourish and take care of them, may even send them to school, send them to college, pay for tuition and a whole lot of things to put them in a position to wait and give them, give, give them an inheritance. And they're going to put them in a nursing home. I can't take care of them. That's too much of a burden. 
that's well, somebody I mean, I that don't appreciate, not only don't appreciate their parents, but disobedient to God's word. Who are you talking about? Ambaye hashukuru wazazi wake na ni amekosa uti mbele za Bwana. And they cut their lives short because God said that if you want to live a long time, obey, honor, honor your mother and father that your days be long upon the earth. Naona hata wamefupisha maisha yao wenyewe kwa sababu maandiko Bwana Yesu alisema ukitaka uishi maisha marefu, uheshimu wazazi wako. Where's the honor in putting away your parents? Unaheshima gani ukiwatupa wazazi wako kwenye nyumba za wazee? Where where hallelujah where is the attitude with gratitude with thanksgiving? Uko wapo uko wapi hapo mwelekeo wenye shukurani na mbele za Bwana? Where is the gratefulness for them raising you and taking care of you and providing for you? Uko wapi shukurani ya wao kukutunza mpaka hapo ilipofika? Amen. Amen. Disobedient to parents. I ain't look uh, mom, I'm a grown I'm a woman now. I'm a, I, I'm going to get my own. I, I'm tired of you saying this or, do, or telling me to do this and do that and cussing your parents. You're putting a curse on yourself by cursing your mother and your father. They were a pile of stones during the, in the law and in the New Testament, God has given you a warning. If you want to live a long time, to keep your mouth from speaking evil and God. Amen. Amen. A kind word turns away wrath. But again, hallelujah, many of wax cold. Hallelujah in this world today. Lakini wengi siku za leo mioyo yao imekuwa ni baridi. Wax cold or what? Of having any love towards their fellow man. Amen. Because God is love and we have the spirit of love. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unthankful. People don't. That's what we. This is what the Lord is reminding us in this letter, lesson. People. Gratitude without attitude. I mean attitude without gratitude. Unthankful. People are unthankful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unholy. Not holy, but unholy. Because God, Lord commands us to be holy as He is holy. And to touch not the unclean thing. Amen. Not to defile yourself. And he said, "Ye shall be my people, and I shall be your God," saith the Lord. Second Timothy three and three, without natural affection. Men with men and women with women don't have natural affection. Men leaving the natural. First Romans, when you read it. Romans, the first chapter in its entirety, just talks about men with men, working that which is unseemly, unnatural, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in their own lust. This is what's going on today. And men land, a man land with a man as a woman is an abomination before the Lord. Same thing. It said likewise for the women. The women doing some of the same stuff. And when you read Romans, the first chapter in its entirety, you find that it's people that collaborate and agree with it. And God said they're gonna they gonna they they gonna burn right along with those that do these things. Warumi moja kisoma yote utaona kwamba mbuana amesema watu na kubaliana na matendo haya watachoma katika tanuri la moto. This pride attitude, this stuff that goes on with men with men, women with women, is an abomination before God's sight, and God ain't happy with it. And God says unless you repent. You, you will likewise perish. 
And those that agree with that. No, you're too, well, we you're have a lot of people high. agree with that lifestyle and those things that are being done. When you go up on all... God said they will not escape punishment. The wrath of God is upon the children of disobedience. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Here, also, uh, without natural affection, truth breakers. People can't keep their word for nothing. False accusers. We got that going on even in politics. Even politicians are fighting each other like, like angry birds, fighting each other, cussing each other, and have no honor among each other. And what example are they setting before the people? A bad example. Amen. Amen. Hey, here, uh, uh, incontinence, fierce, people are fierce. Hallelujah. Despises of those that do good. You have a lot of people that despise people that do good. But we as Christians and the word of God to trust in the Lord and to do good. So shall thy dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Amen. Amen. Our delight is in the Lord. Our trust is in the Lord. But it's people that hate you because of the good that you do. For the word of God says, Jesus himself says, written. Hallelujah. They hated me without a cause. Why, why do you, somebody say, I, she, somebody say, I don't like him. I don't like that Elder Sims. Why don't you like him? I just don't like him. He, 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 he says this, he said, I just, I can't stand him. Why you can't, I just don't, I, they don't have a reason to hate me. It's God's will. Again, God want to know, of, want us to know of his will and his way. And his purpose. Amen. And it's of his will that we love. Amen. And show his love. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but people, they don't have any love. And they don't want any love. Because they don't choose to serve the Lord Jesus. They choose to serve Satan. They don't have a problem with sin. Sin is of the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. And these are some examples of hallelujah. Attitude without gratitude. That goes on right now, today. And here again, some more examples. Verse 4, uh, 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 headiness, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, uh, more than lovers of God. Amen. Read that, please. Mstari wa ine, wasaliti, wakaidi, wenye kujivuna, wapenda wa nasa kuliko kumpenda mungu. Traders, people that are traders, traders. Yani ni waasi, wasaliti. High minded, you know, having a big head, being puffed up. Amen. Lovers of pleasures to please the flesh, then lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such, turn away from them. Verse 5. Read that, please. Wenye mfano wa utaua lakini wakikana nguvu zake hao nao ujiepushe nao 2 Timothy 3 and 5 people having a form of godliness trying to fake it to make it all because you got your big cross on your neck and you dress real fine in your uh, 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 clergy attire and all of that that I'm supposed to be impressed that supposed to make you a Christian yani mradi tu na msalaba mkubwa shingoni 
This is what the Lord say. You will know them by the fruit that they bear. And also, we walk by faith and not by sight. I'm not impressed with your big cross that you got, hallelujah, around your neck that look like a sword. Big white collars, big chains draped across your chest, or walking around with big fish hats and big robes and, and long canes. I'm not impressed. What's your testimony? Are you living the life of a saint? Are you being a witness for Christ? Amen. Amen. You, you will know them by the fruit that they bear. Are you speaking life out of your mouth to win a soul for for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of, of God. People Wana wanting penda. to please the flesh. God say turn away from them. From such turn away. Amen. Amen. People trying to fake it to make it. Verse 6. It says, For of sort of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sin, led away with divers' lust, ever learning and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Read those two verses, please. Wamo wale wajiingizao katika nyumba za watu na kuchukua mateka wanawake wajinga wenye mizigo ya dhambi walio chukuliwa na tamaa za namna nyingi Amen it's people having a hallelujah a form of godliness amen silly women he, he says it is creep it for such are they which creep into houses leading captives Silly women laden with lust. You know, a lot, a lot of women they talk about. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out with my girlfriends. I'm gonna hang out. With, guys do it too, but at the same time, a lot of marriages were broken up because a lot of these silly, silly women, laden with lust, wanting to know what's going on. You volunteering your information between in your marriage, which you going through with your husband, and next thing you know it. She's with your husband. Unaona wanawake wengi waliokosa hekima na walio tawaliwa na tamaa za mwili wanaanza kusema shida zao kwa rafiki zao katika ndoa matokeo yake anakuta rafiki yake ameenda na mme wake. Wives if you have any questions don't share it with your, your don't ask your neighbor. Wake kama una swali don't share it with your girlfriend. Your best friend is your husband. Husband, your best friend is your wife and Jesus. Wives, if you have any questions, the word of God says, ask your husband at home. Husbands, love your wife, hallelujah, as yourself. And, and as Christ loved the church. And to grow in knowledge together. And not to defraud one another. Amen. To do everything with consent, with permission. Having an attitude with gratitude towards God. Amen. Amen. For your union is being one in Him. Hallelujah. But these things happen. Silly women laden with lust, led away with divers lust, many lust, divers, many, ever learning, people ever learning. They got all this education, but never able, not able to come to the knowledge of the truth. They were able. To, to come to the knowledge of the truth of what God commands us to do. And how he commands us to live. 
Jinsi gani ametuamrisha tuishi? For he said if you love me, if you truly love me, if you truly have gratitude, attitude with gratitude towards me, hallelujah, you will keep my commandments. Amesema kama kwa tunashukurani katika yeye, tutatii amri zake. But a lot of us have an attitude without gratitude. Wengi wetu tuna kiburi na jeuri bila shukurani kwa Bwana. Hallelujah. First Corinthians, hallelujah. Baraka kwanza wa Korinto. First Corinthians 4 and 14. Baraka wa kwanza wa Korinto 4:14. I write unto you these things to shame you but as correction I write not these things to shame you but as my brother beloved sons to warn you amen I warn you Asuma siandike haya ili kuwaibisha bali ninaandika haya kuwaonya kama wanangu ni wapendao The man of God is saying I write these things not to shame you but to to warn you of what's going on what I'm saying to you today hallelujah through the word of the Lord and of the Holy Ghost is not to shame you not to call you out because what God say to one he say to all yani ninachofundisha leo hapa sio kukuaibisha tu ni kukuonya kutahadharisha but to warn you kukuonya God tell me he says to remind my people bring them put them in remembrance of my will and my way Hallelujah. Verse 15. For though ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers, for in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Read. Ijapokuwa mna walimu kumi elfu katika Kristo walakini hamna baba wengi maana mimi ndimi niliyewazaa katika Kristo Yesu kwa njia ya injili Wherefore I beseech you be ye followers of me Read Hallelujah Basi na wasihi mnifuate mimi Be ye followers of me Paul say He say as I follow He said follow me as I follow Christ in another uh, writing in the epistles. Kuna waraka mwingine amesema nifuate mimi ninapomfuata Yesu Kristo. Verse 17 For this cause I have sent unto you Timotheus Timotheus who is my beloved son and faithful in the Lord who shall bring you in remembrance of the way of my ways which be in Christ as i teach every where in the church read hallelujah 17 kwa sababu hii nimemtuma timotheo kwenu aliye mwanangu mpendwa mwaminifu katika bwana atakayewakumbusha njia zangu zilizo katika kristo kama vile nifundishavyo kila mahali katika kila kanisa i'm bringing these things to your remembrance god want me hallelujah as i told this young bishop Hallelujah. He uh, uh, and I've taught him and I remind him of the way of Christ and the way of the gospel. He's going to remind you of of those things also and hallelujah my ways in to be in Christ. Anaelezea jinsi ambavyo anamtuma Timotheo kwao ili awaelekeze njia iliyo njema zaidi. And to teach in every uh, everywhere in every church. Amen. Anafundisha hivyo kwa kila kanisa. God say what I say to one I say to all. Verse 18. Now some are puffed up as though I would not come to you. Wengi sana walinuka wakadhania kwamba hatakwenda kuwaona. Amen. Remember defining puffed up as being enlarged or being large, having a big head, being high-minded, you know, wanting to have having a mind to want to do things their way. Amen. Amen. So, so he said I would he says some now some are puffed up as though I would not come and he said but verse 19 but I will come to you shortly if the Lord will and will know the speech of them which are puffed up by the power 
Read, please. Hallelujah. Inasema, basi wengine wamejivuna kana kwamba siji kwenu lakini nitakuja ni kwenu upesi nikijaliwa nami nitafahamu si neno lao tu waliojivuna bali nguvu zao for the kingdom of god is not in word but in power read maana ufame wa mungu haui katika neno bali katika nguvu amen i'm going to come pause i perceive he's saying when i get there i'm going these people that are that are running their mouth, these people who had all these thoughts, these yes. that are puffed up, mm. I'm going to discern through the Holy Ghost their speech. Yeah. I'm going to deal with what's being said. Amen. Yeah, na shugulika na wote hawa nao kuja wanafundisha mambo mbali mbali. Atakutana nao katika mwingo wa kiroho. Amen. Amen. For even hallelujah, because uh, uh, even during the time of Holy Communion, he said, uh, he said, uh, uh, he said, I perceive that there's also some heresy among you. The things that are being said, things that are being done, things that are being done against, hallelujah, the commandments of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hapa tunaona mbwa naisa wafanya vizuri sana. Anasema ufame wa mungu hawi katika neno, bali katika nguvu. Nunataka vipi nije kwenu na fimbo, au nije katika upendo na roho ya Verse 21. What will ye? He said, what will ye? Shall I come unto you with a rod or in love? In the spirit of meekness? Read. Anauliza hivi. Nataka. Hallelujah. Nataka VP. Nije kwenu na fimbo. Au nije katika upendo na roho ya upole. Amen. I'm not going to come to you to beat you. Anawambia haji kwao kwa tandika. The Lord, here's the Lord to say. Vengeance is mine. I will recompense the Lord. But I'm going to come to you in love. Amen. I'm going to come to you in the spirit of meekness. But at the same time, God gave me authority to rebuke. To reprove. To correct. To instruct. Amen. Is a, the, the the man of God has that authority? Amen. Amen. To keep the church in order. And to rebuke that all may fear. Amen. Mm. So Amen. he so oh, he what well, he preaching? He preaching against me. He saying well, people are puffed up. A lot of God's people are rebellious. A little leaven, leaven, a whole lump, and a lot of people let the devil influence them in the wrong way. You can't have one foot in the church and one foot in the world. Because if you do that, the devil going to prevail over your flesh. You're allowing the enemy to attack your flesh. Where we're encouraged by the Lord and by the man of God to walk in the spirit that you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Amen. To be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace in Christ Jesus. Amen. This conclude part two of our lesson. Attitude without gratitude. Amen. Amen.